everyone, Chauts here. Um, today I'm going to be doing my video on the comfort items that I take backpacking. It's one of those internet video nomination things where people will um, say theirs and then nominate someone else to give theirs and then it kind of becomes a chain. And Spagiver Backpacking nominated me uh, in his last video and I will post a link to it in the notes because it was a really good video. And so yeah, I'm just going to go through the items in my pack, three of them, that I consider to be luxury items or things that I don't need to bring with me. Uh, the first thing I've got in my pack, usually, is the Snow Peaks Titanium uh, 450 milliliter cup. Um, yeah, it's a cup and that's all there is to it, but I kind of got in the habit on the PCT where I would love to get to camp, have my dinner, and then make a cup of hot chocolate to drink while I'd go to bed, and that was kind of just my way of having something to look forward to at the end of the day and I would do a lot of night hiking to try to keep up so just getting through those last few miles and telling myself you can have a cup of hot chocolate before bed and not have to clean out your pot fully you can let that soak while you do it it was worth the wait for me it doesn't weigh that much the next thing that I take with me is a fanny pack and I know that that is kind of um, hit or miss in the hiking community. Some people love them, some people hate them, or don't see the purpose of them. I almost said porpoise. Uh, but I kind of really love fanny packs, and this is a through pack. It is their Summit Bum, um, and I'll say I am a brand ambassador for them. So, But I actually only became a brand ambassador for them because I really, really wanted a fanny pack. Um, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, I don't know, just stopping when I would be hiking to try to reach and get something out of my side pocket in my pack uh, kind of slowed me down because I felt like I had to stop every time I wanted something. And I think just having something just right in front of you that you can reach down, unzip, pull something out, it's just really nice. It makes eating snacks convenient and I love it. And the last thing that I'm going to be bringing with me is my Melanzana. And again, I don't think I need it, but I've heard from so many different people that I've talked to that have done the AT about how in the winter before spring warms up, it's just really nice to have a fleece layer or an extra warm layer that isn't just your puffy because of how wet it usually gets out there. And so I will be bringing the Melanzana, even though it's 9.6 ounces, that's a lot for me, but I think it'll be worth it and I really love this hoodie. and. I just don't really care. It's going to be one of my luxury items and if I really get fed up with it, I'll send it home or maybe I'll send home my puffy. I don't know, but I would rather figure it out there and be warm and be able to make that decision with both than beforehand not knowing what it'll be like when I get there. So yeah, those are my comfort items that I bring backpacking. Thanks so much for watching and for my nomination, I am going to nominate the Whimsical Woman, aka Jennifer Mabus or Jennifer Mabus, aka The Whimsical Woman, whichever way you want to say it. Um, Jen, what are you bringing with you when you go on your trips this summer?